Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Going Medieval, where the settlement of Geekhampton now has walls, at long long last, and we're talking proper walls here, we're not talking shoddy weak wooden walls, oh no, we have walls of stone, just look at these 800 hit points of purest defence right here, now you might be able to see, if we go over here, and particularly over here, you might be able to see a few breaches in the walls, there are a few gaps, I mean there's a bit of a gap here, we're working on that, and then you might just just be able to spot a bit of a gap over this side. I mean, when I say a bit of a gap, it's a great big yawning chasm of a gap, which we do need to sort out because, you know, the walls are great. The walls are absolutely brilliant. They're very, very good indeed. You know, people will not be able to easily get through these walls. However, they might be able to easily get through this bit just here because, yes, there is nothing here at all. So we do need to try and sort that out a little bit because at the moment, the bad guys are just going to look at this bit of wall and go, that's very difficult. Yeah, we can't get through there. Oh, what about going through this side? Oh, yeah, okay, let's go through here and kill some people. So, yeah, we do need to look at that at some point today. And we need to get our trap corridor type thing set up as well with a little bit of a raised platform so we can stand people on the top and fire arrows at the top of people's heads and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's get time moving on so everyone can go about their jobs. Now, I think over here we are mining some more limestone. How much limestone do we have? because we use that to turn into limestone bricks to then actually build the walls. I think we've got loads of it. 1,000, over 1,000 units of limestone. I think that's probably going to be enough for now. That will be enough to get those final bits of wall set up. So what we now need is somebody to go over here. In fact, there is Baldred. Baldred is on it right now. So Baldred is turning the raw limestone into some lovely limestone bricks, which is all very good. Good job, Baldred. How many do we get out of this again? Is it 40? Do we get 40 of those? Uh, and I'll get 20, 20 a time. Okay, but that's fine. We now have over 1,100 bits of limestone. I think we'll be absolutely fine with that. So there we go. So yeah, this is a slow process, but we're getting there. Slowly but surely, it is working. Also, another thing, let's do this now, actually, before I forget. Lots of people in the comments keep saying, you have no flooring in your mess hall, dining room, eating place, whatever you want to call it. And yes, you're absolutely right. We have no flooring in here. I mean, you know, no flooring is a, it's a classic geek cupboard thing, but let's get it sorted right now, shall we? Let's put some flooring down in here because yes, it does need something on the floor. I mean, wooden floors, wooden floors would be absolutely fine in here. So pop some wooden flooring in there, pop a bit of wooden flooring in there, little bit like that and a bit like that. I assume they can get under the table and do the flooring. They don't have to move it around or whatever. But there we go. Right, so we should have some wooden flooring in here at some point. Um, RJ's mining skill is now one. Oh, did RJ go and join in the mining efforts? Oh, that's quite exciting. Trying to sort of, you know, broaden their horizons and such like. That's very good. Right, have we done those wall bits? No, we haven't. Right, now we just need some time, I think, to actually turn the limestone into bricks so we can actually get on with building the wall. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Another thing we want to do, we kind of want to dig a bit of a ditch around the edge of the walls. We want to build a little bit of a moat. I mean, we can't fill it with water or anything, but if we just have ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of a gap there, that means that people can't just walk up to the walls and hit it enough to knock it down and then just walk into the base because there'll be a big drop. So I think that might be what we want to do as well. So dig out all of these bits here. I think that might be quite good. Um, can we build, hang on, have we got the research to build the um, the doors yet? Have we got that? Defensive structures too with a locked door. Yeah, a reinforced door. Ah, that needs 10 bits of iron, doesn't it? 10 iron ingots. Now, yes, we did stumble across iron last time. There is some iron down there. So what we might want to do, actually, let's get rid of this big block of limestone here, actually. Um, how much room do we have? Oh, there's loads, of, there's loads of space over there. We can make that bigger as well. Okay, so let's go over here. Let us mine out this big chunk of stuff just there. And then what we'll do is we shall get some lovely, very simple wooden stairs, pop them just there. And that means we can go down here and get ourselves some iron because that's going to be really handy. That's going to be super useful. Um, however, I don't think we have any of the stuff that we need to actually work the iron, do we? We've not got any of that stuff going on. Um, okay, right, hang on a minute. Do we need to actually get some of those in as well? Do we need some more of these? Do we need another smokehouse? I don't think we need multiple smokehouses, do we? That's not going to help anybody. Right, okay. So let's go into here. Right, so pause time for a second. Now, yes, we do need to get a brewing station set up at some point. We obviously can't grow anything right now, but it's not too long until until spring is going to appear. So we might want to actually grow some, some plants that allow us to have some lovely beer. 
because we do have a few <laughs> a few people that like a tipple, shall we say. They like a drink or two and they're getting a bit sad. Is Bernard one of those? Um, Bernard is not one of those. Lacking in religious activities. Really? Hang on. You've got your you've got your thing in my bobs here, your praying spots, whatever they are. Um hang on, somebody um, desperately thirsty. There we go. So RJ. RJ does want a uh, uh, does want a pint or three, it says there. <laughs> I'd kill for a pint or three. Okay, right, so yeah, we do need to actually get some alcohol into the settlement. Okay, that's fine. We can try and sort that at some point. But yeah, how about we get these things down here? So a kiln to make ceramics, bricks, and tiles, and then yeah, a smelting furnace. I imagine we want those outside. I guess we want those outside. You wouldn't want a, a furnace indoors. I suppose we could put a roof over it. We could just build like a little sort of covered work area. And um, where have we got some room? We could put it over here. In fact, you know what? Let's put it here so it's near to all of these things. We could just have a thing without a front wall on. And then we could just have a little sort of little sort of outside working area with a kiln and a smelting thing. That'd be quite fun. Let's see if we can make that work. Um, and we probably could do with building it uh, out of stone, I would have thought, because building it out of wood when you have, you know, a smelter and such like, that might be a bit of a fire risk. We'd have to fill in lots of complicated health and safety forms to do that. So how about we have lots of stone stuff set up to do that? Um, the only thing is, do we want to have the stone stuff to build our walls or not? I'm not entirely sure. Right, hang on. Move time on, because I don't think anybody is doing anything with those right now. Yeah, we have no limestone bricks at all. We need somebody to come along and make those. But I think now, what time is it? Um, it's 11. Is it 11 in the morning? Oh, crikey. It looks very dark and bleak for 11 in the morning. I thought it was a bit later than that. But okay, no, that's fine. Hopefully, someone will get over here and start making some stuff. I mean, I'm looking at anybody. Ev anybody come over here and make some bricks for us, because that's what we really need you to do. Um, what would that come under? What job would that be? Um crafting non-skilled work crafting basic items like bricks ah okay that's exactly what we want okay so that doesn't have a um a particular attribute assigned to it that's just basically somebody go and do some basic work what about uthred uthred here is very good at smithing so why don't we have uthred also doing some making of things he can make some stuff he can be the person that manufactures things like the craftsman so yeah you go make lots of lovely bricks please for us right now uthred that's very important so i imagine he'll run over and start getting on with it right now, now i think you were were you doing research stuff I don't know now. I'm not entirely sure. But there we go. He's on his way over here. Ah, now that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? The limestone bricks are some distance away from the actual workbench type thing over there. So each time he has to work on it, he has to run all the way over here. Oh no, now he's going to have a little pray. <laughs> he's praying for the bricks to be, yeah, the limestone to be slightly nearer to his workplace. Um, yeah, that is a bit of a fiddle, isn't it? Never mind. Never mind. It's not the end of the world. There we go. So we'll get that done. So I think what we will do is, let's outline our new little building thing over here. Let's get this done. Now, the only thing is, I don't know how big some of these things are. So the smelting furnace, um, 70 clay is not allowed. However, we could build it out of limestone because that means it's even sturdier and hardier. So let's put a smelting furnace just there. Hang on, pause time for a second, just so we can undo this if it all goes horribly wrong. And then we'll have ourselves a limestone kiln as well. Um, oh, I didn't look at which way around the smelting furnace was. Uh, right, this end. Okay, right. And then the kiln, if we rotate that round, that can sort of go over there. And we'll put, I mean, they've got limestone nearby, actually, haven't they? They can store clay and stuff there as well. That might be a good idea. Um, okay, so how about we do that like that? And then if we expand this out a little bit, so expand that out to say there, do we keep clay on this? Yes, we do but we just don't have very much in the way of clay. Okay, that's fine. Right, so we'll do that. And then flooring. Can we have limestone floor? Wicker floor? Okay, a floor a floor made of sticks. I don't know if I'd trust a floor made of sticks. <laughs> I'd be very wary of that. A limestone floor or a limestone block floor? Dress limestone makes lovely flagstones for a floor that could last for generations. Um, or just natural limestone. I mean, I kind of want the limestone blocks. If we're going to do it, we might as well do it properly. The only thing is we need the blocks to build our walls as well. Let's build this thing first. I'm sure it'll all be fine. No one's going to come and attack us whilst we're defenseless, are they? I'm sure it'll all be fine. Right, so build a thing 
like, um, oh, hang on. I don't think it needs to go quite that far back, actually. Hang on a second. So like that, look. So that can go round the edges of those things. And then we'll have ourselves a wall going around three sides and then just a bit across the top, like a roof across the top. And then it can just be a little sort of outdoors area because we'll have this front bit open, which I quite like the idea of. That sounds very nice. Um, okay, so let's get ourselves again. We'll get some limestone block walls, which I know we don't have right now. It's fine. So can we do, can we do that like that? And then in terms of roof, a limestone slate roof. Yes. Can we have a limestone slate roof? That sounds very exciting. Oh, hang on. Not that way. We can't. Um, uh, hang on. That, no, hang on. No, we want it. We want it the other way. <laughs> other way roof. Um, okay. Hang on. It goes along the longest. Oh, no, I don't want them outside. I just wanted the roof to. Can we put a beam in? Can we put a beam in and build along the roof? Oh, okay. Right. Hang on a minute. Come on, wooden beam. Save the day. Can we build a roof upon the wooden beam? Da, 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 da. Yes, we can. Oh, wooden beam. Good old wooden beam. Yay, we love you, wooden beam. So the big question now is where do we put the brewing station? Because over here we're going to have our little sort of outdoors kind of hot area with yeah, a furnace and a kiln and such like. It's going to get a bit toasty over here. But where do we put the brewing station? I mean, really... It should go over here somewhere because this is where we're going to grow the stuff that we're going to put into the brewing station. But there's not really any room. We could do really with expanding this. We could do with having our little workhouse being a bit bigger. But I think we might wait until the weather is slightly warmer before we do that. Because outside it's minus 12.2 degrees C, which is, you know, a bit chilly, a little bit cold. So, yeah, we don't want to open this up to then make everybody inside get all very frosty while they're trying to do their work. So... We won't do that right now. Although, do we have a separate kind of brewing house or something? A little sort of, a little bit on the back of here wouldn't be so bad. Could we have a little bit across the back of here and then a door? And then we could keep the beer in here or something. We could brew the beer and then just take it straight downstairs and put it in there. I don't know. Does it give off heat or anything? Can we see? So, heat output, zero. So, there's no heat. We don't heat anything up. We just sort of put things into the brewing station and leave it. I mean, how big is it? How big is the uh, is the brewing station? It's not very big at all. It's not that big. I mean, could we put it... They're windows, aren't they, just there? Could we put it here? Could we pop it into this room here? Because it's fine. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to get in the way. So we could put it in there. Although I do like the idea of having our own little sort of... Uh, proper brewery going on and we could you know have ourselves multiples of these maybe we just build a new building for it maybe we'll just build a new little building for it i'm not entirely sure where it should go yeah, it needs to go over here because that is where we're going to grow all the uh, stuff for it um how about we took it into a gap just here we don't want it to go next to the walls or just in case we need to run along and defend the walls or whatever um Unless we could attach it to the edge of this building here in a sort of wonky way. Uh, then we can't do a roof for it, can we? Because the roof will play up a bit. Hang on a second. Hang on. Right. Pause time. Pause time. Here we go. Can we make this work? What if we did this? What if we said, okay, so have a little bit coming out like that. And that's the, yeah, the doors there. So have a bit coming along like this. Um, and then coming along like that. And then oh, I'm going down like that. Can we then get a roof on this? That is the big question. I don't think we can because, yeah, it's, oh, hang on, hang on. A roof needs two or more points to rest on. Yeah, so we can't get the roof on those bits there because, as you can see, there's already a roof there. So we've kind of, oh, hang on, hang on. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. That's okay. Um, yeah, we could do with just adjusting this bit at the end here. Maybe, hang on. That might just work, my goodness. Right, hang on a second, hang on. We need a door to go into the uh, brewery, just there, hang on. Just, just, there. hang on, game, game. There. Where, are you, where are you putting this door? Um, I'd like it to go, <laughs> I'd like it to go where that is, but you seem to be not allowing us to do that. Um, we'll have ourselves a, a door here, because why not? And then ideally, I want a door there. Why can't we have a door? Oh, crikey, the camera's all over the place. Why can't we have a door just 
there. Is it too near the other doors? Is that the problem? We can have a door just that I don't want it. I want a door next door to where you're letting me place it. Um, okay, right. Hang on. Why can't we put a door just there? Not entirely sure why we can't do that. Um, okay, right. So, slight change of plan. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that and get rid of that. Is there another one hiding there? Yeah, so get rid of that because they can't have roof on those. And then what we need to do is we just bring in, if we go to a wooden wall, just bring that in a little bit, pop that in like that. And then if we go like that, there we go. So a little kind of addition to just there. The only problem is, yeah, maybe we can't have the door where we would like the door, <laughs> which is a bit of an issue. And we could, we could take out that and then expand that over a bit. This is becoming a bit silly, isn't it? We just want a door. Can we just have a door just there, please? That would be great. It's connected to a stable structure. But why can't we put a door there? Do you know what? Let's let them build all this stuff first. And then we'll fiddle about with taking the doors out. Because if we take that bit out now, that bit of wall, sorry. Then, yeah, that room, again, is going to get quite cold. And we don't want that to happen. Right. Hang on a second. Um, let's get ourselves a couple of windows in here as well. Because, you know bit of air, bit of light. It's all very lovely. There we go. And then, look everybody, flooring. We're going to put flooring in right now. Oh, happy days indeed. Oh, they've put the, they've put the door in. Oh, they must have, I must have already had the door in. Okay, look everybody, there's a door. <laughs> Panic over. It's all fine. This, they're working on this very quickly. Are they working on that quicker than they're working on anything else? Um, over here. Oh, look. Hang on, whoa, 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 hang on a second, hang on, are they in? Is that working? Yes, it is, a smelting furnace. Okay, yeah, make iron ingots forever, because I don't know what we're going to do with raw iron. I'm not entirely sure that we need it for anything. So yes, just keep smelting, keep smelting away. And then in this, clay brick or coal. Okay, 30 wood makes 20 coal and 50 ash. And that makes clay bricks. Okay, right, hang on a minute. So let's get some coal, because coal might be good to put in these burner thingamajigs that keep keeping everyone warm. Ooh, hang on. Why is that uh why is that not not allowed? Right, there we go. Um so produce until we have um I don't know, hold down shift, uh, and then we'll go down. So there you go. One hundred. Do that until we have one hundred coal in the settlement. That sounds fine to me. How is the uh, sort of brewing setup going over here? It's looking very good. I mean, it's a bit snowy. We need the roof on, to be honest. That would help a bit. But okay, there we go. People coming in and putting bits of roof on. Thank you. And then get, we'll get, I mean, one of these for now, just to start. Can we fit? We could fit two in. We could fit them opposite. Um, hang on a minute. So I'll rotate that round. So we'll have one, we'll have one there to start with. We'll just pop one of those in and then we'll see what happens. Are you working on the roof? The roof might have a, a few holes in it. However, it does mean that we're using up some of our hay, which we do have an awful lot of, which is very good. Um, do you want to come and just finish the last few bits? <laughs> Everyone's just not bothered anymore. I think we're working over here, are we? Are they working on this now? Um, I think. There's no roof on it. They're still doing the walls. Look at this, though. People leveling up. This is all very exciting indeed. People doing lots of good work around here. More wall sections going in. We've got RJ. We've got Gracia making a bodge of the construction. But that's fine. You know, each each time you try, you are improving. So, yes, you might have failed there. But that means that yeah, you've learned something. You've gleaned knowledge from your failure. And then you can you know, come back next time and do it properly. A bit like so. Yeah, this is looking very good. This is looking really good. I do like this. I mean, should there be some holes in the roof, like a chimney or something? I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure the heat will just, you know, waft out from under the roof. I've only just noticed that there's icicles. There are icicles hanging off the edge of the roof. That's quite a nice touch. I did not notice that at all. Yeah, that's very exciting. Oh, and it's Galfred's birthday. Happy birthday, Galfred. Again, like when it was RJ's birthday, we have entirely nothing to give you. We have no birthday goodies of any kind, I am afraid. Um, I mean, maybe we could get you, um, I don't know, what have we got? Some uh, some stew. Maybe have a nice bowl of birthday stew or something. There you go. We'll all have some stew together. We'll sing happy birthday to you and it shall be wonderful. And they're building bits of roof. They are building bits of roof over here in the, whatever it's going to be called, the kiln smelting furnace room over here. This is very exciting indeed. Okay, we still have, we have quite a lot of limestone bricks. 
because now we have somebody dedicated to making them. Uther there is just furiously making loads of bricks. In fact, it's done. Oh, look at that. That looks very good. And that's on. We are making coal. Oh, this is very good indeed. Okay, right. This is going very well. I'm very, very happy with this. Right, let us get the rest of that wall in because, you know, there is still a bit of a gap. So let's just bring that wall down as far as we can go because I think it only goes so far anyway. We can get all of that done right now. We have enough limestone bricks to get that entire wall section done. That is tremendous. Um, okay, now this does bring us on to the point of where do we want our trap corridor type thing to go? Because it does need a little bit of room because, you know, the people who are coming in have to weave back and forth through the various traps and thingamajigs. But um, over here, we could find ourselves with a very valuable iron deposit down there. So we don't want to kind of block all this off with a great big trap corridor and wall because then we can't get down under the ground to get the iron out, which is a bit of a problem. So maybe, maybe we try and bring it, I mean, either over here would make sense. We have a hole over here, like a you know, little sort of a break in the wall, and then we build it around this way, or we have it over here. I think over here is, we want to build over here. We want to get stuff built over there. Have they finished that wall already? Good grief. <laughs> Well done, everybody. Well done. If I could give you, you know, promotions and bonuses and things, and I probably would, but I can't do that because that's not how it works. But yeah, I would. I would. I'd give you a lovely bonus of some gold or something. You could go and, you know, buy something from the local market. But uh, yeah, that doesn't really work in this. But okay, we've got some research available as well. Hang on. Hang on. We've got 80. We've got 80 chronicles available. Uh, I'm amazed. Everybody is doing some fantastic work. Okay. Smelting. So we can get a blacksmith's forge. Ah, we need room in the other thing for a blacksmith forge. I think we have room in the middle in our nice sort of covered building. Okay, that's very exciting. Uh, process iron into usable items. Okay, yes, I think we get that done because that sounds good. And then we have 51 more chronicles. I mean, defensive structures too is a metal trap. It's useful, but I don't see us using it right now. Cooking could be quite good because that means we can make lavish meals, pies and roasts and jellies and sweetmeats, dine like a baron and savour every morsel. That will make our people happy. If they're eating fancy food, they will be very happy indeed. Um, Armourer, we can make some armour and that might make our people happy when, you know, they're not being horribly stabbed to death. So that might be quite useful as well. Gambersons, a good old gamberson, leather armour, leather helmet, wooden bucklers and things, or research too which gives us the research table and the textbooks. And that's what we need to get the next tier of things. Let's get everything with our chronicles right now. Let's get everything with the chronicles. Do we still need chronicles to do other things? Yes, we do. So in the future, past this point here, it is chronicles and then whatever the other things are, books, textbooks. Crikey, it's okay. Um, let's get, what do we need for wooden weaponry too? Oh, we need some of the textbook things. Let's get armorer. Let's get armourer in right now. There we go. And then in the middle here, do we have room for a, a blacksmith thing? Blacksmith's forge. Okay, it's huge. The blacksmith forge is massive, but I'm sure we can fit it in somewhere. Um, hang on. That's the way in. It fits perfectly just there. That was not planned. I can promise you that. There we go. A blacksmith forge right in the middle just here. Oh my word. Right, iron... I imagine if we can make some, we can't make any right now. I imagine iron can go outside. It can just sit over there. So how about in here? So materials, we do not store iron nuggets or iron ingots. Don't keep those or steel or gold. So I imagine they can go outside because they shouldn't fall apart, I wouldn't have thought. So yeah, get rid of those here. So uh, or gold or silver. There we go. Yeah, so keep all those outside, please. Get rid of the um, silver and gold. Not that we have any of that. And then in here, silver, gold, iron, iron, steel, gold. Yeah, okay, right. Happy with that. So now they should, if there's anything in here, start moving things around. I don't know if there is. Um, nope, just taking some more stuff over here to do some more building and such like. This is going very well. And we're already building the blacksmith thing. RJ's already on it. Everybody's so efficient. This is, this is wonderful. Good job, folks. Okay, right. So how is this going to operate then? It looks amazing if we could see it properly. 
Look at that, that looks very good. Okay, so what does this allow us to do? We can make mechanical components. Okay, we do have a few of those. I don't know exactly what we need those for. I imagine traps and things. Um, and then a short sword, a badish, badish, however you pronounce that, and some ability to smelt items back into metal. Okay, so right now, we will just leave that as it is. But that's absolutely fine. Right, people are going to bed. Good night, everybody. Kappa just having a bite to eat before he turns in for the night. Okay, I think everybody is asleep, which is fine. How long have we got until winter ends? Two more days. Two more days until winter finishes. How are we doing over here? Our little kind of extra building over here is done. And we have ourselves the uh, little sort of brewing station set up. So what do we need? Rough wine, ale, or beer. Okay. What do we want to make? I have, so we can make different things. <gasps> oh, this is wonderful. So we could have one of these dedicated to making rough wine, which sounds, <laughs> that sounds really nice. Mmm, some rough wine. <laughs> have we got any ability to make any sort of hangover cures? Um, okay, so that's going to be, that's going to be some uh, unpleasant wine. And then we've got ale, so that needs barley. And then beer is barley and herbs. I mean, ideally, I'd like to make... I mean, I like both beer and ale. What do people want? I mean, the beer seems better because it needs an extra... It needs an extra ingredient. Hang on. So ale requires no culinary skills whatsoever. But beer does. Beer requires a culinary skill of 10, which would imply that beer is better. So hang on. Let's say yes over here. Make... Do until we have... I don't know. How much does it take? 20 red currants. Do we have any red currants? We've got 50. So we could make however much you get out of that. I don't know. Well, let's just keep going with this. Let's go up to do until we have 50 might be a lot. 30. Do until we have 30 lovely, I don't know, bottles, casks, whatever of rough wine. And then I know we could just yeah, add another thing onto here, could we? Can we add another thing onto this? Is a ale as well? But yeah, surely it can only do one thing at a time. So how about we build another brewing station opposite that one, and then that one can be responsible for making some lovely beer. And that means there's not, yeah, they're not competing for time and such like, you know, that one can just be solely for making wine. This one can be solely for making beer. And that sounds very good indeed. There we go, people that like a drink, we're trying to keep you happy. I think somebody is over here doing a spot of brewing right now, Bernard. Bernard is preparing some ingredients. Oh, this is very exciting. Right, let's just watch you do this. Now look at that. You just basically stir. You put all the stuff in there and then you stir it and then it makes wine. Okay, right, hang on. And then this one here, this one isn't going to work right now, but beer. So do until we have um, 50 beer. Let's just do until we have 50 of each. Why not? Let's just stock up on booze. There we go. So that one's not going to do anything right now because we're not growing barley. We could zone out the field. Do you know what we do need to do? I'm going to sort out the corners of these fields because when we built these fields, when we put these fences in, I did not realise that there were specific corner pieces. I just thought that they would snap together because the game would realise that that's a corner. But no, there are specific corner bits. So let's take out these, shall we? Let's take out the broken corners because, yeah, they are a little bit annoying, aren't they? They do look a little bit silly. So take those out and then we shall replace them with proper corner pieces. I mean, I don't really need the sticks back, to be honest. Not so bothered about the sticks, but okay, we'll take them back anyway. So someone will run over and I imagine take those apart. I love how the weather is the tiniest bit warmer. It's 5.4 degrees C and everyone's running outside going, quickly, to the fields. It's, I, I think it's a bit cold. Still think it's a little bit chilly for you to be out in the fields. I mean, you know, in the night time, the weather's probably going to get worse again. But okay, fine, you crack on. Um, ah, okay, hang on a second. Over here, get rid of that one. And there, get rid of that one. The only thing is, I don't think those corners are going to work just there, are they? They're not going to work. Okay, right, maybe we can't do that one. The thing is, barley. Do we want that to be a field of barley? Because that was previously a field of grass, where we got lots of hay and such like. But now we have 2,600 hay. I think this is pretty much like a hay barn. So I don't think we need that anymore. I don't think we need that. What are we doing for for herbs. Where are our herb storages? Um, we've got, in fact, a food check wouldn't be so bad. 20 red currants, 25 cabbages. Mmm, lovely cabbages. Um, we've got 
only 13 carrots, 40 bits of raw meat, seven bits of roasted meat, 65 bits of stew, and 57 bits of smoked meat. So in terms of food, we're okay. We're gonna survive through our first winter, which is pretty impressive, to be honest. Um, herbs, 151 herbs. I've got loads of herbs. Okay, do you know what? In here then, let's get some barley growing. Let's get some lovely barley, not a cabbage field, flax, carrots, beets, barley. Here we go. Grow some barley in there, please. And corners on the fences. Here we go. Um, where are where are the fences? Hang on a second. Lost property. Oh, it's another person. Oh, oh no. Okay, right. It's another person. This is fine. So again, they've escaped their, their captors. But um, yeah, it looks like they might attack us. And we haven't got our walls up yet. We might be able to get them in. We might be able to sort it. Appearing deranged at first, Andrew was simply overcome with terror. A pitiful stumbling corpse with wheels from binding and harsh beatings by a cruel master. Andrew begged, hide me, I would die if I am caught. Okay, we let people in. Here in Geek Hampton, we do not turn away the needy, it is not right. So, Andrew, what are you good at? Carpentry. You are good at carpentry, Andrew. That seems to be immediately apparent. I don't think you're good at much else, but you know what? You can go and do some carpentry for us. Um... Yes, in you come. Enemies are coming in just over a day. That's fine. Okay, welcome, Andrew. Let's just sort out your things here. You can do a spot of hauling. However, carpentry, you can certainly do that. You can be absolutely carpenter number one. And that means that maybe Baldrick can have a bit less, less priority on the carpentry. And maybe because you're quite good at mining and you do like cooking. Baldred, maybe you can go down there and do a spot of cooking. Are you clever, Baldred? Who, actually, what's your intelligence? For 17. So Galfred is the one who's going to go and do the research stuff, which does leave Baldred at a bit of a loose end. Um, I know Baldred does some hunting and such like. Baldred does do some hunting. That's absolutely fine. Do you know what? That is okay. Uh, and then in terms of this, hang on. Andrew, what are your traits? Because I saw you had a few of them. Your callous... So you're unmoved by human mortality. Flesh is a mere commodity once the soul has fled. Okay, so you don't care if people die. Uh, okay, that's fine. I mean, you seem to be quite concerned about your own mortality when you came to us pleading for help, but right you are. Um, and then an elf shot. Excruciating back pains that Andrew endures were doubtless caused by fairy arrows. What had he done to deserve such misery? Motor function down by 5%. That's fine. 5% down's okay. Um, yeah, okay, so what we'll do is so you can sleep just there like everybody else, and in the evening, have a spot of leisure time. Why don't you? Absolutely. There we go. Right, and I assume, actually, hang on, you're injured. You have you have a dislocated shoulder as well. Good grief. Now, the only thing is, have we got enough beds? Do we now have enough beds? No, we do not. Okay, right, hang on. Emergency house build is required. Quickly get a house put together, sharpish. There we go, house all set up, and now we just need to put things in the house, like, uh, let's get some beds. So yeah, we'll put a couple of beds in as well. We'll put a couple of beds in. Hang on, I think that's the way around. We want them, so one there and one there. And then we will put these in. We'll put these in as well. So put in the clay sort of uh, heater thingamajig. I think we might need some more clay. We do need some more clay at some point. That is becoming somewhat low. In fact, do we have any left at all? There was loads of it somewhere. There's loads of it. Is that pile of it there? Yeah, there we go. Right, allow that. Oh, yeah, there's loads of it over here. Just allow these. Somebody go and grab those because that's just free clay just sitting there, not doing anything. So we might as well go and retrieve that whilst we can. Right, and then we've got over a day to finish our wall. Can we do this? I do not know. Let's have a little look. Let us build our limestone brick wall. I mean, that's going to come out to about there. And then that's going to go out to about there. And then can they meet up? Can they meet up? Boom. Yes, they can. Okay, right, this is very good. Now we just need somebody to go and build that and craft a load more limestone bricks as well. And it's snowing again. All you people out in the farm. I suspect maybe you've been wasting your time, but okay, <laughs> it's fine. Out you go into the farm. Oh, hang on, research is available. Uh, another 33 Chronicles. Cooking or defensive structures too? I mean, cooking seems more readily useful. So yeah, okay, we'll have cooking, please, for now. That'll do the job. Right, okay, so the temperature comes back down. I imagine all of these plants are going to struggle a bit in the cold, but okay, that's fine. And then we have ourselves, because we're now getting more people. 
I suspect we might need to grow a little bit more food over here. So we've got carrots, we've got beets, we've got cabbage, we've got herbs and red currants. So what else do we want to grow over here? So barley we've got growing somewhere else. So herbs, yeah, we've got beets, carrots, flax. How much um, cloth stuff do we still have? Got lots of that. 557 linen cloth. And we do still have some of it growing over here. So that should be fine. So I think, is that it for food options? That might be it. Red currant shrubs, tall grass. Yeah, okay, they're red currants, aren't they? Hang on, are they red currants? Uh, yeah, okay. So I think, what do we want to grow over here? I mean, maybe just another load of cabbages. Cabbages are good. They're like, you know, the staple food of peasants. Um, let's build ourselves, or, you know, outline another cabbage. Let's have half cabbage, like that. And then, how about half carrots? And we can make a lovely stew, a lovely, like, vegetable stew out of that. There we go. That'll do. And that's a bit more food, because now we have more people. So, of course, we've got more people, more mouths to feed. Therefore, we should grow some more food. I can't help but notice that our raw meat supplies are running quite low. And up here, on this hill, outside the settlement, are many, many animals indeed. How about we say, um, OK, how about you go and hunt, I don't know, three of them. Oh, hang on, that didn't work at all. Hang on, go and hunt, uh, in fact, you know, just hunt all of them if you want. Go and hunt all of Hang on, yeah, hunt those, please. Go and get many animals, please. Because that would make sense because then they can come over here and just get these. They're quite nearby. And we've got people that need a bit of practice with a bow and such. So that might be quite good. We do have a bit of a breach over here. Do you know what, actually? We talked about this last time, I think, didn't we? So let's just mine out that bit just there. Get rid of that. And then the wall can just continue over here in that direction. Okay, wonderful stuff. So we're getting stuff done slowly, but surely this is all very good indeed. Uh, what did we need for the fancy doors again? Um... Hang on, was it in there? Uh, where were the fancy doors? Where were the fancy doors? Can't quite recall where they were. They are in here somewhere, weren't they? Wooden door. Oh, it's down here. A reinforced door or a grated door. But yeah, that needs... Oh, yeah, it needs iron. That's it. It needs iron. That's what we need. Oh, we need some more wood. Oh, hang on. We need some more wood. Oh, yeah, this house isn't finished. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, I apologise, Cuppa. Cuppa is sleeping in a bed that's not even uh, in a house that's not finished. Yeah, we should probably sort that out at some point. Um, hang on a minute. There's a tree just there. We'll have that tree. Um, yeah, that's that's not going to help, is it? That's quite bad. Right, hang on. Okay, speed time on. Come on, everybody. Let's just get through to spring. Let's get rid of the snow. Get rid of the punishingly cold temperatures. Fight these enemies. Who's coming? Five forest bandits and three fierce forest bandits. They're really angry. Um, I think we'll be fine. We shall hopefully muddle through. But um, yeah, here we go. And look, we're we're fighting. We're killing some deers and such like this. this. is very good. I think they are all running away. Do you know what? Belay the orders on those. Because we don't want our people to wander off too far. Right, and then up there and down we go. We've picked up, the, uh, picked up some meat. Because yeah, we do have a little bit of a hole in the defences. Because you can just go up there and down this ramp at the minute. That's fine. That's okay. Hopefully they won't notice that. It's covered by trees or whatever. And here we go. Hopefully these are the signs that winter is finally on its way out because outside it's a positively toasty, almost nine degrees Celsius. Ah, oh, it's boiling out there. Okay, this is really good. Now we do need to get ready for, for that. Oh, hang on. Drinking? What are you drinking? Hang on, have we got, have we got some booze? Do we have some alcohols going on? Um, or is he just drinking, you know, a cup of tea or something? I don't know. Can't see that we have any alcohol in storage right now. Unless Andrew's just drank it all. I don't know. Hang on. Is RJ now desperate for a brew? Uh, a cuppa, sorry. Not a cuppa. A beer. A, a tea, always on the mind. Um, no, look. He must have had some drink. Which means he's a bit happier because you know, he's a raging alcoholic. So there we go. He's a bit happier about life and such. This is going splendidly well. I mean, we do have some people coming along in just about nine hours. They could make this go less splendidly well. They could ruin things very, very quickly indeed. Hopefully they will not do that. Um, also, 
down here, let's go and get ourselves our first lot of iron, because then we can use it to make swords and, I don't know, machinery bits and other useful things. But yeah, we've built all the stuff to actually work the iron, we might as well go and actually grab some out of the ground. Do you know what I think we might need to do? I think we might need to expand our farm quite considerably, because we made it through winter and that's fine, but we don't have a lot of stuff left. We've got 66 bits of stew, which seems okay, and we have 57 bits of smoked meat. That is all right, that's an okay amount of things, but in terms of actual raw resources, we haven't got much left. We've got some cabbages, uh, we just went and topped up the raw meat, obviously, because we went to do some hunting, and then that's it, actually. We've got no carrots, we've got no beets or anything like that, so we've kind of gone through most of our raw resources, except for some lovely, lovely cabbages. So I think, given that, I think we can, we can safely say that over the next year, before the next winter, we might get some more people in, I think we might need to possibly expand our farming operations a little bit to make sure that by the time next winter comes around, we have plenty of lovely food. So I think what we'll do is, let's take out all of these fence bits just, oh, hang on, there's a gap in the fence there anyway, that's fine. So take that out like that, deconstruct those, and then we'll just get some more farm stuff down here. I mean, that's not the most important thing to do right now because we're going to get attacked very soon. Yep, go and do some praying, absolutely, that would be good. That would be good, get some divine blessing or something to make your arrows strike true or what have you. Okay, oh, hang on, Andrew. I'm very sorry, I'm going to interrupt your, uh, I'm going to interrupt your prayers because uh, you could do with some sort of, uh, some sort of weapon possibly. Oh, and maybe some clothes and such. Um, hang on a second. How about then, um, let's have a look at your skills. I can remember which one it is. Uh, okay, so marksman zero, melee seven. Okay, I don't think it's wise to give you a bow because you don't know what one it is. You'll probably try and eat it or something. So uh, yeah, melee it is. Let's give you, um, and what weapons do we have? Do we have any decent weapons over here? We've got ourselves a sturdy wooden spear. That seems good. Go and equip a spear, please, Andrew. And then you can defend against the people that you know, did hold you captive for a while, which is generally bad. But well, there we go. And... Do you need anything else whilst you're here? Flimsy leather clothes. No, 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 Andrew. No, no, we've got, we've got better than that. We've got sturdy linen winter clothes. Go and pop those things on right now. Um, okay, they're coming back. So either we say, yay, there you go, Andrew. Boot him out into the, into the arms of these violent extortionists, which, you know, does not seem morally good, does it? That's a bit morally bankrupt. Uh, or we'll fight them. Of course we will. So, um... We get a positive mood modifier for helping someone in need. Okay, we're gonna say no, of course we are. Right, so they just appear. They are, where are they? Oh, they're over this side where there isn't a wall. <laughs> of course they are, absolutely. I would expect nothing less. Right, so they're gonna come in through this gap here. So there might be a little bit of sort of guerrilla warfare going on around here. Could we fill that gap in? That would be quite funny. If we could very quickly just say, let's fill that gap in. Because, hang on, where's that wall going to go? That wall's going to continue sort of over like that anyway. If we could get some people to go and finish that, that would be very funny indeed. Right, finish that. Baldred, finish that. And Cupper, go finish that, please. I mean, I realise it does put you... Oh, fast speed is disabled during a raid. It does put you dangerously near to them. Um, but yeah, when are they starting their charge? They're all just sort of wandering about the place at the minute. Just sort of, you know, waving the weapons around and going, we are here. Oh, okay, no, hang on. <laughs> right, that wall is no longer required, everybody. Right, hang on a second. Uh, right, da -da -da. draft everybody, everybody ready for battle. Uh, select everybody as well, if we could. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're going to have some kind of street fighting going on over here. So how about we all come over here can we get, hang on, RJ and Baldred, can you get up here? You can, you can have the high ground. So if you go up there, you can fire at them from up on high, whilst our other people fight them on the ground with melee weapons. That would be really good. I imagine they've got to come in through this gap. If not, then I don't know where they're going to go. It looks like they are heading toward the gap. Yeah, okay, so they're coming down here. Right, everyone, hold steady. Wait until the archers are in position, because then the archers can provide some fire support from up on high. There we go. Right, so, RJ, fire at anybody. Just fire at somebody. I think RJ is targeting the lead person there, which is Godric. 
Okay, let RJ get one shot in. Right, hang on. Everybody pile in on Godric. Baldred, try and take in some other people. Here we go. Right, melee is going to happen. Oh, this is... <laughs> it's all a bit close, isn't it? We haven't quite... Oh, okay. Godric is dead. Godric has been horribly, horribly murdered by everybody whacking him. Oh, crikey. Right, okay, more stuff is happening. Um, Idrid, Edred is dead. I think our people are taking a bit of a knock. But them being up there is really good. That is very good. Ioma's dead. Boyd is dead. Cuppa's turned 21. Happy birthday, Cuppa. <laughs> Enjoy the birthday fight. Um, okay. So two hours, seven minutes, the fight happened. I like that. I like the fact that it's more of a, a sort of, you know, an old style fight. There's a proper big ruckus going on. It's not just a case of, yeah, 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 stab, you're dead. It's a proper big fight happening. Five sworn enemies died. Uthrib was the bravest, dealing the most damage. And Gracia took the most damage. Ah, well done. Okay, I imagine we're still going to try and kill these people. <laughs> we're still going to fire at them. Sorry, Walt. Right, Gracia, I think you're quite horribly injured. Um, yeah, you might be bleeding, possibly. But hang on. Yeah, we need to we need to sort that out. That's not good, is it? Um, okay, Gracia, come over here for now. Come over here. We don't want you going out that way. Cuppa, everyone else is very angry. Right, okay. Do you know what? Don't bother going after Ramsay. Ramsay can go and tell the tale of Geek Campton. And then you can give everybody a bit of a warning that the people of Geek Campton are not to be messed with. Don't go and mess with us, please. Right, however, manage. Undraft everybody, please. There we go. And hopefully people will go home and search. Hang on, don't go and stand out here, you lot. Don't go and stand out there. All go back to where you need to go. Go back to your places, go to bed, go and heal up or whatever. Right, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Right, who is horribly injured? So, Galfred is injured, but not dying. And Gracia is... Gracia is losing some blood. Right, okay. Cuppa. Cuppa is sleeping. Are we able to explicitly say, go over here? Yeah, prioritise tending wounds, please. Go and save Gracia from bleeding to death in her sleep, because that would be good, wouldn't it? There we go, wounds tended. Marvellous. Um... Flimsy winter leather clothes. Why are they outside? Oh, okay. I thought maybe they would have put them inside again. But okay, never mind. Right, and then we have all of this stuff over here that the uh, the baddies have dropped. And of course, a load of bodies as well. A sturdy bludgeon. Ooh, exciting. A sturdy woolen cap. Some flimsy clothes. We'll dismantle those, hopefully. And um, there's loads of stuff over here. Uh, what's this? Flimsy, 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 sturdy leather helmet. Okay, take that. Flimsy bludgeon. Sturdy iron knightly sword. Ooh. Oh. The enemy are getting slightly fancier weapons. Okay, fine. We'll allow all that stuff and we'll allow that. Okay. Right. There we go. Wonderful. So we've dealt with these people. We've dealt with the baddies. And now we've got Andrew. Andrew is very busily burying some remains. Well done. And spring has arrived. A beautiful picture of some lovely flowers. Spring arrived in Geek Campton as the sun warmed the sleeping ground. Vegetation began to grow. It was a perfect time to sow crops for the coming year. Absolutely right. Hang on. We're sort of we're sort of trying to get that underway. Right. Let's get ourselves where we actually want the farm stuff to go. So I think we want a fence coming down here. And then it can kind of cut across like that. We just have a little bit more stuff over here for farming. So let's get us a fence. If I can remember where a fence is. There it is. Fence. And we'll have a stick fence. It's fine. In fact, I don't think we have a choice. No, no choice. Stick fence or no fence. Um, so yeah, we'll have that like that. We will have a gap just so you can walk in. Because otherwise it's going to be a little bit irritating, isn't it? Um, and then we'll kind of bring that down like that. Rotate that round. And then we'll have... How much of a gap do we need down here? I mean, everyone can walk underneath. It's absolutely fun. How about, yeah, we have that coming across like that. And a bit there. And rotate that around and a bit there. In fact, you know what? Take that bit out. So another way into the field. That makes sense. And possibly a bit just there. Take that out. And then corner pieces. Right, let's go and put in all of the corner pieces. That we um, have taken out. So there we go. That's a corner piece. <laughs> that's a corner piece. Yay. And that's a corner piece. That is corner piece. There we go. Another one going in. Okay. So that field is going to be sort of okay. There we go. Sort that. 
Um, yeah, that's not going to go entirely according to plan, is it? But never mind, that's fine. Like that, like that. And then that one, hang on. So fill in that gap. And then that gap. And that's it. Okay, right. So now we have ourselves our new kind of field area outlined. Now we just need to fill it with lots of lovely crops. So let's go into here. Um, yeah, okay. Carrots, yes. Have much in the way of carrot, because carrots are good. So we have lots of carrots like that. And then we'll have some beets, because why not? Have some beets. And then we'll get some more red currants, I think, because we need those to make wine. And we want to have some wine. So there we go. So we've got ourselves a lot more carrots, a lot more beets, which are all good. Some red currants, we can make ourselves some more wine, some more terrible wine. We're growing barley over here. 12 days for maximum yield. Okay, this is all fine. But look at that. Everybody already very busily getting on with things. How is the wall doing? It's looking okay. It's looking okay. Well, what we'll do is then, if we want to get our trap corridor thing set up, I think we take out that wall section there. That can be the way in. Although I wouldn't mind a little sort of little minor tunnel for them to walk through first. But there we go. So that can be the way in. And then we'll just dig out to the rest of this. Just dig a big chasm around the side to make it tricky for people to get in. And then, um, yeah, hopefully we can fill up this hole as well, because that would be good. Oh, I completely forgot about this. We said in this area over here, we told them to go and put down a load of trees. But it was winter. So they didn't go and do it right then because, you know, it was winter and it was cold. I think that might be slightly too many trees. Hang on a second. Can we maybe shrink that the tiniest bit? Let's just bring that down to, say, there. Let's make it significantly smaller. Settlers are exhausted. Go and have a lie down then. I'm not making you do this. If you're tired, go to bed, Copper. <laughs> There's beds all over the place. Uh, we do need some more wood, actually. We need some more wood. That's a good point. We haven't been able to finish our um, our work on the uh, house. So hang on, go and chop those trees down. That's fine, we don't need those trees. Oh, there's one in our borders there as well. Go and chop that down too. And we can probably get to some of these as well relatively easily, I would have thought. Yeah, we can get to those as well. Okay, right, so plenty of stuff for people to be getting on with. Uh, Baldred over here, just hacking this wall apart. So this can be, I mean, we could use this for something. We could put another little building in there possibly or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, okay, so how is the wall looking? They are, they've got four bits left and then the gap in the wall just here. And then we have ourselves almost, if they put those bits in, a big defensive wall if we don't look at the bits where they can come in from the ramps. Ignore the rampy bits, that's fine. No one's going to notice those. But look at that. We have ourselves a wall. This is very exciting. Nobody coming down here to do any mining of the iron, however. Are we able to mine iron? Can we, can we get that? Is that something that we're able to get? I'm not entirely sure that we can get it. Do we need a special sort of tool to do that or whatever? Settler's wounds need tending. Grace has got a dislocated shoulder. Okay, she'll sort that out. She's she's made of hardy stock, is Grace, so she'll get it fixed. Just popping into the food dungeon, because we've not been down here for a while, and I just want to see how things are going. But uh, yeah, it's looking okay. Raw food is looking not great. There's plenty of raw meat, however, so we could go and smoke that and make loads of lovely smoked meat. There are some cabbages as well, so we could have ourselves like a cabbage stew or something if we wanted to do that. There are some bones and such like, hopefully someone will clear those out. In fact, should we be... Do we need to tell them not to store bones in there? Um, animal... Don't store bones. We don't need bones down here. You can store the carcasses. That's absolutely fine because then we can go round here to the butchery table thing and chop them up and turn them into meat. But yeah, don't store the bones in there. And then over here, actual sort of edible food is looking really good. There's loads of stuff down here. Um, it's decomposing because of temperature. Okay, it's 4.6 degrees C in there. Hang on. That one isn't decomposing because of temperature. That one is. Well, how does that work? It's but, hang on, does not compute. I don't understand. So that one there is absolutely fine in a room that's 4.6 degrees C. But this one here is rotting. In, in, it's in the same room. And that one isn't. It's because they're in the way of the door or something. I don't know. But that roasted meat isn't. I don't understand that at all. Okay, game, right? You've baffled me a bit there. I mean, maybe some doors would not go amiss. A couple of doors there and there. How about I put some doors in and maybe that will keep the uh, that'll keep the heat in a bit, possibly. 
There we go. We'll put doors sort of there and there. Not the heat in. The heat out. Keep the cold in. That's what we want. That's what we want. We want it to be cold in there, not hot. Um, right. Okay. Well, there we go. And um, yeah, it has been suggested by a few people in the comments that what we could do is we could obviously expand the food storage a bit. We could get a little bit more room for food and we're going to need some more for the raw food, given that we just increased the size of the farm. Um, but also we could build ourselves a little kind of network of tunnels under the ground where people could come and possibly hide or if it's you know if it's really hot if there's some sort of heat wave they could come down here and stay you know so they don't get a heat stroke or whatever or if it's really cold they could come down here and warm up a bit because they're under the ground they're away from the cold we could put some heater things in here if it comes to it that's not a bad idea that is not a bad idea at all we might look at that at some point have we got all the flooring in in here yes we have Okay, it's miserable and pouring with rain, but there we go, never mind. How are we doing with the wall? I think the wall is done. Obviously, bar the gap just there, how is the bit over here looking? There is one bit. However, that place is blocked by a corpse. Okay. <laughs> right you are. So it's got a little bit of a corpse there. Ooh, mushrooms. Hang on a second, hang on. Harvest mushrooms, please. Yes. We will absolutely have some mushrooms. Are there any other mushrooms? There must be some other things lying around the place. There must be other goodies under the trees or whatever. Can we just sort of go like that? No. Okay, like that? Anything to harvest? Is that it? Maybe the mushrooms haven't had a chance to, sort of, you know, grow yet or whatever. Okay, but there we go. So we'll grab some mushrooms. That's fine. And yeah, we just want to complete this one wall section. I'd feel a lot happier if that was done. Well, they've mined that bit out just there. So how about we fill that in with wall? Now, I know we don't need to fill that in with wall because there is already a wall here. You know, there's a natural wall just there. But I'd prefer it if that was there. I would prefer it if it just went along like that. And then it's complete then. Then we have ourselves a great big long wall going along that way, linking to just here. And that keeps us a little bit more secure over this side. I mean, I suppose we could in time. We could mine this out if we wanted to. Just get rid of that. Because I imagine, I mean, are people going to, I don't know how clever this game is, given its early access. I don't know what the enemies are going to turn up with. If they turn up with ladders, I mean, rather than going to the wall and climbing over the wall with a ladder, they could put a ladder here and then just walk along and go in. So maybe we do need to take this out at some point. But there's plenty, there's plenty to do, isn't there? We still need to get all of the, yeah, we need to get these things in. So the pointy bits on the top of the walls, but we'll use you know, stone for those. This was just a test, but that's fine. We need to get some more stuff across the top of the walls. Again, we'll try and do that with stone. We need to go down here. Oh, everybody is down here. We are now getting iron into the settlement, which is very good. And we still need to make the trap corridor. Although right now we're quite well defended. You know, people have to come in. They're going to come in through this little gap here. We can line people up here and just fire at them. But we'll try and make a trap corridor. We'll try and get ourselves visibility on top of the trap corridor so we can fire arrows at people's heads and all that kind of stuff. We could do with maybe making some indoor worship areas so people don't have to go outside to worship and all that kind of stuff. But yes, things are looking very, very good here in Geek Hampton. So what we'll do is, are we finishing that house as well? We're finishing the house because I think we have enough wood to do so. Okay, this is all very good as well. Um, yeah, so I think what we'll do is we will finish things up for now. Let's pause for the moment. And then when we come back next time, we'll try and bolster the defences a little bit more. We'll try and sort that out. We'll try and get, yeah, sort of uh, the ability to have these things across the top. So we can get up to the top of the walls and then have a little walk around and such like. Um, and then I think what we'll try and do is we'll make sure that everyone's happy. We'll try and see if anybody's got any sort of things they want, which would be quite nice, or any needs or anything. Like, yeah, we've sorted out the uh, sorted out the alcohol issue. So we'll just see if anybody else has got anything that we can help out with, just to lift their mood a bit. And then we'll just see how we get on. We'll just see how we get on with everything, because things are ticking over quite nicely right now. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what the game throws at us. But uh, I'm really enjoying this. I think this is really, really good. I mean, I do like this. I like our fancy sort of setup over here. That looks very good indeed. But uh, but yeah, we'll come back next time, see what happens, and you know, see how we get on here in Geek Hampton. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be very, very marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Going Medieval. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. You can be the last accounting office. City tax offices. Boo, tax man. Yeah, you look busy. Is it a quiet day at Bedrock Insurance, is it? Is he going to use the stairs or is he going to be a lazy beggar? Yeah, you lazy ass. 
and all the lights are on. And I notice that everyone has left their lights on. I'm paying for this electricity, you gets. 